coming up. Let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. Here we go, in 10. Stand by, camera 6. If it's happening now, we're going to deal with it now. Stand by, Dr. Phil. This is going to be a changing day in your life. I'm taking people with real problems and moving them in to the Dr. Phil. Teenager Logan Stout has been known to cause a few uproars in his day. And today, we brought in him and his father, and we're going to resolve this issue. The Dr. Phil way. We've brought in the father who says his life has been not only flipped around, but terrorized and tortured. Mr. Stout, please, uh, please welcome him. So you've brought to my attention that your son Logan has, in your own words, terrorized your own life and the life of the people around you. Could you please uh, elaborate on that to me and the audience here? Well, Philip, terrorized is almost an understatement. Logan has absolutely destroyed my life. He's, he's gone crazy. He's uncontrollable at home. Uh, he's been kicked out of every school we've sent him to. And at this point, I just don't know what to do. I'm fearing for my life every day, and I just need some help. And to be honest with you, at this point, Philip, I, I know it's a little bit drastic, but we might even send him to slow high. Okay, that's, that's so much. We need, to, we need to work this out together. That's why you're here, okay? We don't need to do anything that drastic, all right? We just all gotta sit out and talk it out. Now that we've heard from the father's side of the story, I think it's only fair we bring in the son. Logan, please come out. Now, Logan. Your father has come here to tell me that you terrorize his life, the people around him. He's called you a menace to society, his own son. Please give me your point of view to all of this. Well, you know, really, I, I just don't see what I'm doing wrong. And, and quite frankly, I think he's kind of overreacting a little. Um, all right, that's your point of view. We've heard both sides. Uh, let's take a look at the footage. He leaves the house in a rage. He's failing all of his classes. Great job, Mr. Stout. You're really improving with your studies. Dude, 99? I got a 50. Yes. And he shows me no respect. Can you pass me the salt? You're forgetting something. Please? Allow me to be completely honest. I have never, in my 30 years of psychological practice, been met with a more abusive, abrasive, terrible menace to society than you are yourself. You undermine the foundation that is society. I cannot believe your father deals with you on a daily basis, and I pity him to the utmost extent, and I wish I could be the best in the future of my life, and you will cause him. As for my suggestion, on how this issue will resolve, I think it'll resolve itself. Hello everybody, and welcome to Family Feud. Let's just get right into it and introduce our family. First up, we got the Jerry's. Charles. TGIF Carter, Kansas State University. Eugene. Osiraptor Maloich, South Dakota State University. AJ, TJ, RJ, backslash and forth the fifth, Missouri State. Casper! Arkham Asylum. Sequester Grundlesmith, MD. Adam State. Dan Smith, BYU. Arash. Charles. During what month does a woman look most pregnant? September. Good answer! <laughs> good answer! <laughs> good answer! <laughs> yeah, good answer! All right. Eugene. The team needs this point, so you gotta get it right. What is a yellow fruit? Orange. Yeah, good answer! DJ, AJ, RJ. The team has been struggling for most of this time, so you're gonna get you're gonna need to get this right. Here's the question. What is a word that comes after pork? Supine. Good answer! 
Okay. Casper! Your team is 0 for 3. You really need this one to pull yourself back up. So here's the question. What is a name that starts with the letter H? Jose! <laughs> Dr. Crundleplay, you really need this answer to be correct because if somehow your, your team has gotten four strikes in a row. Here's the question. What is something that is hard to do with your eyes open? Read. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share some knowledge with you. You know, my friend Peter Lorado, he once said, don't let the possible be impossible. And, you know, that really resonated with me. Um, I, I, I know we had a lot of stars in our video today, but, but you guys are the real stars. You know, just being at Mission for four years, and being, being a big part of the senior class, and, and, and it really means a lot to me, and it means a lot to the whole class. You, you, you. Soldier Boy, tell. <laughs>